This is Mark Hutton from Satellite Beach, Florida. Mark is married, father of two children. With his work, family, and interest in sports, he's a busy guy. But he also finds time to major in sociology at the University of Arizona at Tucson. On the job, Sergeant Mark Hutton is an Air Force Missile Systems Analyst Specialist. I work here in the control center of a Titan II ICBM. Mostly, it's a monitoring type job, where you run daily checks on the status of the various components associated with the missile. It's part of the job of keeping the missile up to strategic alert, or in the green, as we say. One thing I like about this job is the hours, 24 on and 48 off. Some of us go to college or take correspondence courses, and the government pays for most of it. For me, it's an ideal situation. We're making an electrical continuity check on all the systems in this remote piloted vehicle. We can simulate all the maneuvers the missile would go through in actual flight, climbing, diving, turning, without running up the engine. We send it a command here at the console and then see if it responds correctly. If it doesn't do what it's supposed to do, we locate the malfunction and repair it. Then we check it again. Since this vehicle flies without a pilot, and the equipment I work on replaces him, I take a personal interest in it, just as if it were my own airplane. This missile, the Quail, also operates by remote control. With this test stand and console, we can simulate actual flight and check its performance. Quails are launched from B-52s and show up on enemy radar just like the bombers do. In other words, they're decoys, designed to draw fire away from the real aircraft. Most of our work is done in the hangar out of the weather. When I think of all the training and electronics we've had, the working conditions and everything, well, it's pretty hard to beat. Now, we'd like you to meet Tom Sortman from Dayton, Ohio. Tom is married and lives on base. Once or twice a week, he and his buddy take their bikes out on the desert for a little tooling around the brush, as they call it. Besides that, Tom also bowls, plays handball, and baseball. Joined the Air Force right out of high school two and a half years ago. On the job, Sergeant Tom Sortman is an Air Force Missile Systems Maintenance Specialist. In missile maintenance, there are several different jobs you might have on any system you're assigned to. For the past year, I've been calibrating guidance and control systems on the Titan II. Right now, we're using this checkout equipment to make sure the missile guidance computer and the inertial measurement unit are properly configured. Some maintenance people are trained to replace guidance and control units on the missile, right in the silo, a real precision operation. Maintenance work is pretty much the same, regardless of which missile it is checking, rechecking, tracing down malfunctions. Of course, your test equipment and your training are all first class. When we do find a malfunctioning component, we simply replace a circuit board or do some other kind of minor repair work. There's a lot of variety in this job. Playing golf in the high 70s not far from professional status, is Steve Nagus of Boston, Mass. Steve also plays a good game of tennis 
and build some of his own furniture. He's married and lives off base. On the job, Airman First Class Stephen Nagus is an Air Force Missile Electronic Equipment Specialist. Right now, my friend and I are running a check on a unit called the Missile Fault Locator. This is a very important piece of equipment in the Missile Control Center for determining if the missile is ready for launch. In this career field, besides being interesting work, you get an excellent background in electronics and also real hands-on experience in troubleshooting complicated equipment, something that has tremendous application in civilian life if you ever plan on going into electronics. Now meet Jim Cole of Costa Mesa, California. Pull. Jim is single. Pull. In high school, he was on the varsity track team in high hurdles and two-mile cross country. Now, in his spare time, he goes to college, majoring in electrical engineering. On the job, Airman First Class James Cole is an Air Force instrumentation mechanic. In this job, my co-workers and I are kept pretty busy maintaining the equipment in the satellite tracking station here at Vandenberg Air Force Base. In between satellite passes, it's our job to check and troubleshoot, tracing down problems, replacing modules when necessary. And when they launch a new bird, we're all set and ready for it. Our work is put to the test every time a satellite passes over. When we're picking up all the information and there aren't any electronic hang-ups or bottlenecks, we know we've done our job and done it right. It's great to be a part of a really sharp outfit. Do you dig the martial arts? Meet Walter Johnson, holder of a brown belt in Taekwondo. His partner with a black belt works with him in the same career field. Though they're active in other sports, this is their number one favorite. Walt attended Howard University before enlisting in the Air Force. Now, in his spare time, he's taking a correspondence course in electrical engineering. On the job, Sergeant Walter Johnson is an Air Force missile mechanic. I cross-trained from aircraft mechanic into the missile mechanic field and was assigned to these remote piloted vehicles, or drones as they're called. We do the ground handling, refueling, changing parts, and getting them ready for flight. The interesting thing about these drones is that they can be launched on a mission, do their photography or whatever, and then brought back and recovered. They pop a chute and are snatched out of the air by a chopper. A fantastic little aircraft. For whatever missile you're assigned to, large or small, it's a good deal as far as I'm concerned. Well, I originally got in the Air Force because I felt that it was an opportune chance for me to kind of get my head together and learn a skill. Now, when I got in there, my first choice was missile mechanic, and I got that. But right now, I feel that it's exactly what I want to do. I'm learning something, and I'm a part of a team, and I have a chance to exert my own individual efforts and feel integrity, you know, and pride, take pride in what I'm doing. My feeling about the Air Force is that it teaches you a sense of responsibility and it helps to build your character. I kind of feel in the future that, well, they have offer a lot of opportunities educational-wise in the Air Force, and I'm going to take advantage of all of those as much as I can. You've just seen some of the jobs in missile maintenance. If you want to join this group, ask your recruiter for more information. They'll be glad to help you. Then make a choice and jump aboard.